Hi guys, this is a video on Windows games. This time I'm going to be showing you a, about six games uh, where you can play other people for free over the internet. Usually you have to buy the game or they charge the service of playing people over the internet or you're severely limited in certain ways. So these are ones that are completely free. Um, you'll notice that there, there are three at the bottom that haven't got icons. Um, basically I tried to download these but with Fear Combat I gave up because it's a long download uh, with Raw Rock I downloaded it and opened it and went to try and connect and it wouldn't let me connect so I um, don't know what went wrong with that so I can't show you that one and World of Warcraft isn't entirely free you can get a 10 uh, day trial with it and also if you really feel like being illegal <laughs> then you can play it on a private server um, which I'll probably be showing you in my next video because I've almost got mine downloaded um, just for ob obviously for educational purposes so let's get started with the six I have got so we're going to start with 8ball club these I've tried to get ones that are a broad range of games um, so they all do different things so 8ball club I've already got my username and password here so we're now connecting and the anti-cheat system has been activated so I'm gonna, what I'm going to try and do is over, uh, view a game so you don't have to watch me play and lose so I'm now viewing a game where possible I'll try to get it to um, be in a windowed box so you can see it easier I think Silk Road I couldn't get windowed so you'll notice that someone's playing a game now and are you going to take a shot? no? there we go very good so this is 8ball club and obviously you can play yourself and it's 3D and you can play people online so you can invite your mates and play them online so that is 8ball club uh, next up is Trackmania Nations, now I like this game, this is quite an addictive game you might find yourself if you play with a friend or if, even if you go on their servers um, just to play you'll find yourself playing it for hours it's a racing game, it uses carts and you play against other other countries and things like that and you get your own little um, nations that's why they call it Trackmania Nations you just play other people um, I've disabled the music on this you may have noticed that's because I don't like it it does really annoy me you can see there's not many people playing because it's uh, very early hours of the morning so I'm just going to go on I don't know, Love Shack so join you may notice that there's not many people on many servers at the moment but I like to stay up late so so here we have a track my little car and usually I have a little animation at the beginning showing you the whole track so I don't know how long we've got left on this I'm not going to play for too long welcome to Love Shack, three minutes left so you can see there's other people playing. Oh dear. <laughs> what a great start. I'm gonna try again. Just a quick I don't think I'll be able to complete a lap, I don't think I'll have time. Oh dear, I really am rubbish at playing games. But I've also got my mic lead on top of my fingers so I can't play properly. No! Um, so yes, this is Trackmania Nations. Now I did a video before on Stepmania. Now this is Stepmania CVS. I haven't got any songs loaded so I can't actually show you a game. But this is Stepmania. Um, I suggest you search for a previous video I did on Stepmania because you can watch me fail epically. Um, so this is a game that you can play online. You'll notice that when I start it says Network Play. And then you can connect to a server and it's smonline.us you press enter and then it says connection successful so then you go back to play, so single ok, which I want enter and then hopefully it will log in with my pro... Uh, um, I don't know, just put the password in will it log me in? yeah there we go smo server rc2 so you could then choose whatever you're doing. I'll go on novice or something. Will it let me? No, it won't let me. You can let me. Oh, control enter. <laughs> and there you go. There's things with songs, but make sure you've got the songs they've got here. But yeah, that's 
that is Stepmania. Now another one is GENS. You may not know this, but the Mega Drive emulator GENS, um, you can uh, play online. You just go file and then net play, and then you'll notice that there's got a huge server list. And you can play other people with your Mega Drive games and have them as a second player. Uh, you'll notice that they'll, if you go into one of these servers, they'll tell you what game they're playing, and you can match their game. Um, I'll give you links to download all of these, by the way. Uh, next up is Assault Cube. Now this is very small, and it's not going to open in a window. Uh, it's a very small game, about 16 meg, and it doesn't require you to sign up like most of the things I've gone through. I've spent about three hours signing up to things and downloading things. As you can see, I'm straight into the action. Hopefully you can see this. And I'm then going to go to multiplayer, and then you just say update servers. And you see there's a long list of servers. And I'm just going to go on the first one. And then you can see I'm loaded, and hopefully there'll be other people here, but I might not. There might not be. And there doesn't seem to be anybody here. So, yeah, but you just go on another server and you'll find out there's some people, and eventually you'll be able to kill someone. Uh, but don't choose the top server because it doesn't appear to have anybody on here. So, oh, there, player Cornflake disconnected. Nice. Good name. Anyway. So I'll quit that. That is uh, Assault Cube, and last but not least is Silk Road. Uh, we're going to wait for it to say start. Silk Road is more like World of Warcraft because I'm a World of Warcraft player. Well, I played on the private servers for about six months, odd. And I'll show you in my next video because I'm going to be a game master on it, so I could do all the commands. So I'm going to log into this. Um, I've played this just about five seconds. I do three, six, A, M, four. D. I've played this for about three seconds before uh, stopping. Oh yeah, requesting user confirmation. This is my guy. <laughs> cool. Press start. Well, the first thing I couldn't understand was how to move the camera, and I still don't know how. So moving around with the mouse or the up, down, left, and right. But as I said, I don't know how to move the camera, and it. What? Okay then. Be a successful trader. Uh, you just talk to these people, I suppose. Or not. Um, either way, uh, there's things to fight. And yeah, it looks a lot like World of Warcraft. You can see someone might be fighting someone now. But I can't move the camera. Oh, there he is. Savaya Toy. Well done. Anyway, that is Silk Road. I'm sorry I haven't done like an in-depth um, view on all of these games. But these are just basic games that you can play. You download the clients and you can play them for free. And as I said, with Fear, Combat, War Rock, and World of Warcraft, they've got their own things that I couldn't show you. But other than that, those are the games. Um, if you know of any other ones, or better ones, or ones that you're addicted to, or anything like that, then please let me know, because I would love to try them out and play them. Um, just please make sure the um, uh, the client isn't too big, because I've, got, I've downloaded several gigabytes of... Um, data trying to find a free game, I think like Army, I think it's American Army or something like that, that's 1.7 gigabytes and I think Fear's about 900 megabytes or something like that but either way, um, these are the games, thanks for watching and please rate and subscribe